Hey, afternoon everybody. It's us. Sophie is fresh out the bath. I mean, I, she is fresh, fresh out the bath in that she's considering more bath. Oh, and still flipping water everywhere. <laughs> Bad. We may have, we may well have wet spicy bird today. Bird. Hey, Burb. What are you doing? Quick snack, yeah. Are we going to be very fluffy today, Burb? <laughs> yeah, we might be. Ahoy, hoy. <laughs> very much so, yeah. She gets a bit thoughtful, don't you? Hmm? Oh, it's a blueberry. I wonder what it was. Oh, yes. See, there's much, much beak cliffing and all sorts of stuff going on here. Bird. I don't think her mood is being being helped by the fact that I am wearing it. So um. I think there may be some red coat spiciness. Yeah. And she's got to get used to it. She will, but she needs to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, the last couple of times in the last few minutes, I've offered her my hand to sit on. She's like, no, I'm not sitting on that thing. What are you talking about? You luminous weirdo. Bird. Can you see, bird? Yeah, I can't say I can hear Biggles, but I can't see him anywhere today. Well, at least not that, not that pass. <laughs> Luminous widow. It is cold today. Well, I say cold. It's about, uh, it's about eight, maybe nine degrees centigrade. So I mean, it's not super duper cold, but certainly cold enough to be refreshing. have emails too. What do you think, bird? Yeah. You sure I can offer you a warm hand? Hmm? Look, I'm touching your feet. <laughs> Get off me. Idiot. Yeah, she's still she's still wet enough that when she flips her flips of feathers water flies out so we may still be in the spicy stage i know it was a stupid idea wasn't it just hey bird we'd like a nice mam mammalian hand to sit on like no nope. at least not this one oh wild going for a wild friends there Come on, autofocus. Oh, just as just as the autofocus got its stuff together. Um, I haven't had any um, update about the super hearts. The um, the application does say that it might take anything between two to seven days to um, be worked upon. So um, I am. Oh, there it is. Look, there it is. I am. I am refreshing the page every morning and afternoon. And yeah, fingers crossed we'll get it sorted, but it's, it's, knock on wood and all that. Um, hey, hi mum. Yeah, new coat. I'm trying to get Sophie used to the new coat. The new coat's really complicated because it's got like little, little tassely bits up here. So you can tighten up the, I might cut these out. Because these, oh they don't tell you, these get caught in your beard. 
You know, it's a really niche. Ooh. Oh, I'm so such a clumsy bugger. Uh, bird, where are you going? Where are you going? Decide what perch you're going to be on. Yeah, and they are biffable as well. That I didn't that didn't occur to me actually yet, but they they are very biffable. See now, there's my hand. That's right. Get it all out your system. I know, I'm angry too. <laughs> I'm just as upset as you are, bird. Oh, I'd much rather not get liver. I'd much rather not get liver stashed in my coat if I could avoid it. If it's completed, Dad says it's not for you. So what? what, 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 what? In it. Where are you going, bird? Oh, see, we're out of the bath, so we're spicy. We're spicy and bouncy. Looking for a bit of sun to sit in as well. She's trying to find herself like a little chunk of sun. Complicated. Ah, there you go. Right. Yeah, it's just those, it's just, just those two little bits. It's just like those two little, um, I don't know what you call them. Tassels? Toggles? Little squeezy things that you put the, um, hey Lena, um, that you put like the, the stretchy cord through. They're just a little bit, a little bit next to your chin. Now, what do you do? Toggles, yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm not gonna offer you my hand now, so you won't get, you won't get upset by my, my arm color. Yeah, it's just like, like I can imagine me ever tightening, like it's, it's the, it's the, like the little string that you would use to tighten up the top of the hood. And I can't see me ever doing that, so I might just snip those out. I might just snip that cord and pull it through and get shot of those two little tassels because they, they sort of, when you've got the coat done up, they, they bronch you on the chin. Hey, buddy. See, this is nice. If I don't offer you my hand to sit on. Oh, I don't get too close. <laughs> what to win, buddy? Get off me, weirdo! Don't touch me. Yeah, I think it is. I think if you if you if you've done the hood up, it's to like pull the pull like the hood closed on yourself. And... No kissing. Get off me. Get off me, weirdo. Yeah, we'll see how weird this coat is when popcorn's coming out of it in a few days' time. No, she's just had a bath, so she hasn't she hasn't done her hair. She's fresh out of the bath, so the her hair uh, her hair her feathers will mat together a little bit, and yeah, you see a little bit of skin there. What doing, bird? In the surfer room. Ah, see now that kissy's allowed. Sophie. Hey bird. Look at bird. Look at this. Look at this compact little bird. Compact and bijou mostly. Compact and bijou. Mm. Sophie. She's always high energy after bath. She's always quite oh hello. I don't sit directly underneath. Don't sit directly underneath Sophie because that's how you poo on your head. So you, you've got somewhere I can't really put my head without it being really, really extreme close up. Like really like, oh, that's too much. That's too much bowdy. Bird. Sophie. Yeah, that's too much, isn't it? That's, even by our normal extreme close-up standards, that's a bit much. Sophie. You've got a pipe coming out of your head, there. 
see something. You're on the lookout, bird. What you what you looking for? She's certainly watching the skies for something. Or someone. Yeah, that is a good question. What sees bird? What has? Hmm? Are we being extra thoughtful? Yeah, I think the wild saw me. I mean, how could the wild not see me, in fairness? And, um... Oh, a squirrel in the background. Should we see if we can photograph the squirrel? Squirrel will be over there. In the way of the plant. Squidge. Come on, autofocus, not the thing that's right next to you. The thing that's through that thing. Come on, autofocus, I believe in you. I know you can do it. <laughs> autofocus, why are you gonna do this? Why you gotta be like this, autofocus? Well, there we go, there's a the scroll. <laughs> yeah, he's obliging. I think he's looking at something on the ground. He's staring pretty intently at something on the ground. Oh, here's, here's the wild. Yep. Cool. Definitely see something on the floor. What do you reckon, bird? <laughs> yep. Hmm? Are you being extra thoughtful? Think should we go over to Rory and Khan? Where are they today? Oh, they're 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 photographable today. So let's have a look. Squirrels on the lamb. Call me Mint Jenny, Mint Jelly, because I'm on the lamb. Yeah, sitting together. Oh. Yeah, everyone seems chill today. It oh, apart from oh, apart from Sophie sometimes. Um, yeah, the whole place seems quite chill. But yeah, it's just a nice little. Everyone's found like a little ray of sun to sit in. Again, apart from Sophie, um, who is determined to sit in the shade. She's a big idiot. Oh, baby magpie! Free! Ah, see. The needs of the bumworm outweigh the needs of the coat. That well known Star Trek phrase. Ah, there we go. And now, now Roaring Connor off. Oh, so you got a baby magpie foot. Ooh. willing to disregard coat for the needs of the, the cold bum. I see. 
I see where our relationship is. I can see that now. Yeah, I think the coat can be ignored whilst whilst the bum is cold. Is that how we do it? Hmm? Wouldn't you rather sit in the sun for a little bit? Or are you determined to sit here and stare into nothing? You haven't been very thoughtful. Hmm? Why is it not a choir? Why is there always biggles? There is always a cement mixer somewhere. Just. Why must this be like it, Bill? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be a precast without at least a couple of aeroplanes and a cement mixer or an angle grinder or something, would it? So. <laughs> Do you know, it wouldn't be surprised me if, if, if some of my neighbours did that, if just like, he's out there with that bird again. Start the leaf blower. <laughs> sit in the sun let's not sit in the in the cold shade where both of us are cold let's go sit in the sun look over here over here there's a nice little bit of sun you can you can sit on see look miss me miss me entirely i mean you tried she she, she tried her best there but um swing and a miss swing and a miss but Eight out of ten for effort, but off target. <laughs> we shall poop in the shade. See, the bum's the bum's reasonably warm now, so she doesn't need me. Oh, she's super determined to sit here today. Aren't you, bird? Absolutely 100% determined to sit in this this perch. Which I'm not mad because it's it's one of the new perches, so you know I'm, I'm pleased that she's using it. Again, she's got serious magpie business. Hmm? Yeah, 100% she can. Yeah. You can definitely see something we can't. Weird. I wonder what it is. I can't see anything. Because now she's looking the other way, but she's still sort of scanning the skies and things. Yeah, <laughs> involves ignoring the coat. Very much so, yeah. Like I said before, we'll we'll see how she feels about the coat on Saturday when there's popcorn coming out of it. But um, I think she may change her change her mind about the coat once it gives up its popcorny secrets. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think, bird? At least we're staying outside all day today. We haven't gone in the bedroom. Ah, the squirrel is cautiously making his way over to the bird feeder. He's like edging his way up the up the tree that's on the side of the bird feeder. Do 
gigantic crow just flew over here. But did not have any messages. Eesh, minus two. Oh, boy. I really love her, her thoughtful little shapes. Just a little idle. Oh, I'm just going to sit here now, dry off a bit. It's quite comfortable. Like, this is like the magpie equivalent of like a, an old t-shirt and a pair of tracky bottoms or something. This is just, yes, get yourself comfy bird. There are now two squirrels. You can see the, the tree twitching as they as they run through it. Thirty seven, what centigrade? <laughs> Thirty-seven centigrade. I'd be dead. Ah, that's awful. It sounds terrible. Too hot for it, but yeah. I mean, that's too hot for anyone, isn't it? 30, 37, 39 degrees. That's just... That's silly temperatures. flying overhead. 40 last week and it's spring. Yikes. Good. I don't know, I think it was last year it was um it was like 32 here and like the place came apart like train tracks buckled and they were like telling people to not go to the seaside because you know you couldn't get within like three miles of the beach and I, the UK just grinds to a halt once it, once it goes over like 30 degrees as an entire country where you just go oh crikey I'm oh nothing works <laughs> 47 that is insane that is absolutely insane that's not livable surely 47 degrees centigrade is just not a not a temperature you can exist comfortably at is it I mean They legitimately come apart at that sort of temperature. Like I say, a heat wave for here in the UK is like low 30s. Yeah, like an absolute wall of heat. I remember walking out of my office. My office is, is air conditioned all the time. South Australia, yikes. I remember walking out of my office, which is like air conditioned, and walking into like a low 30s air. And it's just like, it's just, what? I'm, I dared. F in chat for Bowdy. I was in a, I was at a cricket match, and um, there was a guy there selling ice creams, and he had, he paid off his he paid off his mortgage that day. They were they were queuing around the, like they were queuing literally for a couple of hundred meters to buy ice cream. See, now we see, if you look, look at her feathers now, you can see that they're starting to dry out and sort of like re, re fluff up. Come on, autofocus. She's looking a little bit, a little less Scandinavian heavy metal now. There we are. Bird, what do you think? Did you get some live feed? Do not peck the phone, bird. Bird. 
here. Feet. Get them grippers in, look. Do you, do you really not want to sit on my hand at all? Do you hate the do you hate the coat so much? You really do, don't you? You really can't stand this coat. Oh, gross me. No? Okay. Warp tube. Warp tube doesn't contain gross meat, so that's much much better. I much I approve of the um of the warp tube. Even though you've got loads of cruds up it. Ugh. Good, you're so nasty. I gotta be nasty, good. Clonk, clonk. Uh, have a soup check while we're here. Oh, it's noodles today. Pretty much 100% noodles. Mmm, yummy. Right, come on then, bird. Let's do the lolly stick thing. Yeah, I do wonder what she thinks. Just like all of a sudden, my external, my external colour changes. And it's just like, wait, wait, hang on a minute. You ready, bird? You gonna sit there nicely while we do the, the lolly stick thing? We might actually. We might actually get a. We might actually get a proper closing card today. So, gang, I gotta lurk back to work. So thanks for coming, thanks for your company today. If you've just stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. Yeah, and a, there's a Discord there as well if you're into Discord. Or if you prefer, you can always Google Sophie the Magpie. Oh, Ken, boo. So thanks for coming everybody and we'll see you all again for another Microbree tomorrow. Bye for now.